Scottsboro City Council meeting Monday, October 27th. The order for the invitation to be on Mr. Perry. The pleasure of allegiance to be on Mr. Miller. I dare him a father. We thank you, Father, this day. And the many blessings that you've given us. We ask that you be with us tonight. Please lead, guide, and direct us as we conduct the city's business. We ask that you watch over our city employees. Keep them safe as they take care of us each day. We pray for our military both at home and on foreign soil, that you will watch over them and bring them home safely to their families. We ask these things in my name. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Certificate of election uh, uh, from the election runoff on October the 7th uh, for place three, uh, Tony Wallingsford. And then for place five, uh, Gary Stewart. We look forward to working with both of y'all starting next week and continuing you, okay? <laughs>
Next item is to consider the adoption of the remaining 10% of the 2014 2015 budget. I have a figure of $2,121,316. That's different from the first uh, number that we've got in the cost of the budget amendment. So, with that being said, do I have a motion to consider the adoption of the remaining 10% of the 2014 2015 budget? I got no. A second. Second. Any discussion? No, we'll vote all fair say aye. Aye. Go say no. Next item is to consider funding requests from the Council on Aging for the Veterans Appreciation Day. Mr. Perry, you want to go back? Yes, thank you. Uh, on that board of the Council on Aging approached me a few days ago. Uh, they are wanting to do a very special day uh, to appreciate our veterans which, you know, every day we appreciate them. And um, I told her, and I think she sent letters to the mayor and all the council members, they are not asking for a specific amount, but um, I, would, I will open this up for discussion with what we feel would be, um, we would be able to do. But I would like for the uh, city to be able to uh, contribute to this very, very worthy event. Um, if anyone has a specific amount in mind, um, if they would like to talk about that, that's fine. If not, I was looking at um, our discretionary funds. <laughs> if we could give 500, <coughs> pardon me, from the council and 500 from the mayor, that would be a thousand dollars, along with other people that are contributing to this event. And um, I think it's a uh, very worthy cause, and I think it would be wonderful for the city to be able to be a part of this, this event. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions for Mr. Perry? Do we know what kind of program they're going to have? Uh, the letter really didn't state uh, what all they were going to do. Uh, do you have your copy? I didn't bring a copy tonight. It's at work. I know there's lunch on and um, different events we have to do to honor them. Any other questions? I'd like to know what they're going to spend the money on. Um, you have your letter? Oh, okay. no, I'm sorry, I don't know it works. Does anyone have their letter with them that um, put it in specifics? Do you want me to get in touch with Ms. Porter and get specifics and then get back with you and then we can kind of make a decision on this? Um, I, think, I think the mayor will do good. Oh, good. Okay. okay. We'll see. Um, we'll go to the next one announce the appointments to the library board. Letters were received from Candace Patterson for reappointment and Lisa Williams. And there's only one appointment for this. So that being said, do I have a nomination for the appointment to the library board? I make the motion we um, appoint Candace Patterson. Any other nominations? We'll close the nominations and <coughs> we'll vote for Candace Patterson. So, up everybody in favor say aye. 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 I'll go say no. <coughs> Candace Patterson will be appointed to the library board. Mayor, did you run it? No, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. We'll go back to number four on, on that issue, if you don't mind, Mr. Perry. That's right. Yes, we'll get more specifics on that. Thank you. Thank you. Next item is the announcement of three uh, appointments to the museum committee. Letters were received from Reed and Shaw, Joan Racebus, and Lisa Williams. And there are three appointments. <coughs> Do I have any nominations or for this museum committee? Make a motion to appoint all three of these for those three positions. Uh, second. Second. And 
discussion? If not, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, amen. Congratulations to those folks. Next item is an announcement of appointments to the Downtown Redevelopment Authority Board. This one has five board members. <coughs> have five board members. One board member will be appointed to a six year term. There will be two four year terms and two two year terms. And we had six people that applied for this position. Yes. And at the end of the, each term, it will be reappointed to six year terms. And what we'll do is the, we'll do the six year term first. So that being said, do I have any nominations for the six year term? I nominate Ann Chambers. <coughs> any other nominations for the six year term? Mm -hmm. If not, we'll vote for Ann Chambers for the six year term. All in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Aye. All in say so, And Chambers. Next one is, we'll do it. Place one for the four year term. So I have a nomination for place one of the four year term. I'd like to nominate James Allen for the uh, first position on the four year term. Any other nominations for that plus one? <clears throat> no other nominations for that. We'll vote for James Allen. I'll first say aye. 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 So James Allen is the plus one. We'll do place two. For your term. Do I have a nomination? I nominate Derek O'Hyde. Any other nominations for that place? If there's not any other nominations, we'll vote for Derek O'Hyde. All in favor say aye. Aye. I'll vote say no. <coughs> we'll go to the two year term. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate this. Kind of I'll go to Mr. 
Prairie, and then you go to Michigan. Oh, I get to go first, good, because I've got two or three days here, I can say. <laughs> this is my last two laws, so y'all are going to be patient for a couple of minutes. Um, first off, um, I know you read the paper where Ms. Oliver Wood had retired from serving uh, as the coordinator for the Scottsboro Senior Program for 37 years. I've known Ms. Ollie all my uh, adult life, and I know how this, this was not just a job for her. It was a love and a dedication, and um, every, every senior, everybody uh, was so special to her. She was special to them, and I just appreciate her for everything she's done. I remember when we were the, the old rec center down to that beautiful new senior center, center that they enjoyed. And I just want to say a personal thank you to her for her service. And I hope now that she and Bob can, can do some things that they want to do. Secondly, um, I just want to ask the citizens of Scottsboro, um, you know, when we're motorist on the road, we have a lot of things on our mind, and sometimes we're not paying attention like we should, and I'm just as guilty as anyone else. But, you know, my brother had a most motorcycle accident yesterday and he was on his way to visit me and um, a car turned off in front of him on Broad Street and uh, good Lord willing, he's going to be okay. He's pretty bunged up, uh, some brakes and bruises and things, but um, just just watch for these pedestrians and these bicyclists and these motorcyclists and, um, you know, just, just take care and just uh, please pray for him and my family as we go through this. And, Last, but definitely not least, I wrote out a couple of things I want to say because sometimes I get to talking and I leave out things and I get home and I think, oh, I meant to say that, I meant to do this, and I didn't. So I just wrote out just a very short statement that um, I would like to read. This is my last council meeting, and I just want to take a minute and say thank you to the citizens of Scottsboro for allowing me to serve on the city council for the last four years. It has been an honor and a privilege to represent Scottsboro. I want to say thank you to all the city employees in every department for working with me. I appreciate what you do each day for our city. I also want to say a huge thanks to the other council members, Mayor Potter, Mr. Kenner, and Ms. Phillips. I have enjoyed working with you so much. I ask that you continue to support our elected officials as they strive to make Scottsboro an even better place to live and work. I don't believe in saying goodbyes, you know, uh, that's just too violent. What I will say is I will be seeing you around and if there's any way that I can ever help you, please do not hesitate to call on me. I'll see you around. Thank you. <laughs> well, Carol and I have been sitting down here on this end for a long time, uh, too, and we, we talk a lot, and most of what we talk about is I say, what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> so now that she's moving on, hopefully I'll get to move over, <laughs> and I can hear a little more what's going on. Uh, but uh, being a councilman is not really easy, uh, most people think it is. It isn't because no matter what you do, you're going to make somebody mad. When we have six people, five board members tonight, so we'll probably have one be mad. Uh, but it's worthwhile what we do, and uh, I think we've done the best we all could over the years. And, uh, I do know that. I enjoy working with We've just and thought about lots of things, but we are agreeing on that. We sure did. Thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you too. Mr. Miller, I'd just like to say that I've enjoyed the last two years with uh, Carol and uh, some of the trips that have gone on for the city and conferences and uh, just missed the, I guess the next uh, two years of this meeting. And uh, anyway, I wish you luck with the good things to share. Thank you, Greg. Expectations. Mr. Stewart. Carol, I tell you, I'd like to thank you for all the help and inspiration to give you time so you always been a pleasure to work with and then I hope everything goes well and keep things as everything needs to do with you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So it's good. Thank you. I just 
just like I said, I've enjoyed working with the past two years, and we're in the same city group, Hawaii, so mm -hmm. I'll definitely enjoy working with you. We're the same each other. Doing cooking pancakes and seeing your teeth and blood. And also, I would like to say uh, happy birthday to Gail Dundee. It's our talk today, it's her birthday, so uh, <coughs> it's her uh, story. And, uh, How old is she? I do not ask. 29. <coughs> again so, and again. I just want to say happy birthday to Ms. Gail Dundee. If Mr. Larry Ward was here, he would say she's the oldest winning part. See, part there he is. I would say that she she kept in contact with some of the other city clerks from, from around the state and uh, they just got back to Florida there. So I saw her son and he did all this that information to me today and I didn't answer the numbers for her. She did a lot for the city of Scottsboro. Uh, we'll be spilling right in there. We did a fantastic job this past election and I know uh, what needs to be do. A lot of times we have some unsung heroes. Mr. Cameron is my hero. <laughs> he gets me every, every meeting. So. But um, I think I've said enough tonight. With that being said, I have a motion to adjourn. I a motion to adjourn. Well, second. Second. Any discussion? Uh, vote all in favor say aye. 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 aye.